mercy. What I'm doing right now is making my meals for the whole week. I like turkey burgers. Every Sunday, 60-year-old Len carries out the same routine. I bring them to work, I heat them up, I get some nice whole wheat bread and my fresh tomatoes, some cheese on the top, and I take care of myself for the week. His obsessive behavior has rendered his kitchen useless, and the rest of his 1,000-square-foot home outside of New Haven, Connecticut, barely functional. Everything's in excess. You know, I look down at stuff and I can look right through the, the dirt and the, the, whatever it might be. I don't even see it or I don't want to see it. It doesn't, it doesn't register. You know, for example, he'll, he'll reminisce about the past and I'll say, can we please talk about the present? I mean, I'm sick of hearing about the past. I feel like he's living in the past. Holding on to things so tightly, not wanting things to change and Liking old things, you know, vintage things kind of feeds into that. I don't see myself as a hoarder. I see myself as a, uh, in a strange way, some kind of a savior of history, and I got it all in my house. And it makes me, and it has made me feel, not, I don't want to say better, but different. Have a look at the beautiful... I just haven't been in here... 15 years, 20 years? 25 years. 25 years. I'm 35. Right. Yep, yep. There's the cleanup list you left me. Oh, my God. It's still there. I've been telling you what to do for a long time. Uh-huh. Before I went to college, I thought I would clean his house for him. Quickly clean bathroom. He still had the list that I made him after I cleaned his house. I mean, this was a losing battle, this list, because you kept bringing stuff in and nothing was going out. Absolutely. It was basics of how to clean your house. And... That is sad for me that I felt the need to do that and that I still feed into that. This is like, oh, this is like intense for me to read that list. This is, this is what's not working for me Absolutely. in our relationship. Yep. This is my part in this that was not healthy. I feed into his looking for guidance, and I am really quick to give advice and tell him what to do. And that pissed me off. It doesn't seem like a two-way street. He just wants to take and not give. I fed right into it. Boy, oh boy, what a lucky guy I am to have a child that'll take care of me when I need to take care of myself. I, uh... I feel so fortunate to, uh, to have a child like this because lots of kids wouldn't have the patience with their old man as she does. It makes me feel bad that she had to do that. So I have to do something. <laughs>